In this lesson, we will cover tuples. Tuples are a compound data type. The main difference between them and the arrays we saw in the previous lesson is that tuples can contain different data types. When creating an array, the data type had to be a single type. Well, if you were creating a float array, they all had to be floats. This is not true for tuples. If you want, you can combine integer, decimal, char, and string types, which we'll cover in the next lesson. We often use it returning multiple parameters in functions. Also, we use with structs. Now, let's define a tuple. I enter integer 11 plot 2.97 and character z values in it. Tuples are defined by parentheses unlike arrays. Again, we define it by putting a comma between the elements. Let's print the float element with the println macro. Indexing starts from 0, so we write 1 after using the dot operator to print a float value. As you can see from the drop down menu, the indexes of the other elements have arrived. Rust Analyzer detected the tool and wrote its types automatically. You can write these too. It is also very simple to define another tuple inside the tuple. I put a comma and create any tuple in it. Below, we consider the related tuple as a single element and access it by writing its order in the index. I write zero after the dot operator to print the value in the first row of the tuple. This way you can define nested tuples and use their values. Finally, we can do tuple destruction. It is referred to as destructuring in the literature. Let's assign their values to three variables named A, B, C by destroying the tuple. Let's print these variables with the println macro. See you in the next lesson.